Hey everyone, Juggle will be here, and I'm going to tell you one of my greatest fears. And my greatest fear is that when I die, um, my consciousness won't be able to carry over. Now, being a being an atheist, um, there's at least for me this great fear of death because we're no longer continuing afterwards. We're not in e either in a physical place or. Uh, going to a different realm or any of those other possibilities and so for me uh, just having your conscious just disappear and erase that for me scares me the most and it's unfortunate that it does because every once in a while I'll have these panic attacks which they're simply just moments of me trying to calm myself down um, whenever I have these thoughts about when I exist I won't have any memories uh, be it pain or joy and the way the way we enter earth is going to be the same way that we leave it just nothing is no i don't even know if there's even something visually going to happen whether it'll just go dark and also the thought of what exactly do you hear do you still hear do you <laughs> do you still hear a ring tone a deafening tone you know or does it just slowly fade away or does it cut to mute i i just don't know and uh, it tears and <laughs> It truly terrifies me because I really dig, <laughs> I just love being alive or just consciously aware. I just want to see how, how much the world progress, whether, and, and even if the world doesn't progress, let's say there's some, a nuclear fallout and or even the end of uh, of human, the end of mankind. <laughs> so let's say that it's the end of mankind. I would still want to be around to to see the process, to see how it continues further beyond. You know, I want to know what's next, and. It's unfortunate uh, that we probably might not experience it. So let's say we phase into supernatural uh, beings or elements such as like ghosts or uh, spirits in, in some way. I would be fine and happy with that. <laughs> I would be fine with being able to uh, phase into being a ghost because I still get to be able to retain my consciousness. I still get to experience the the world. I I just want to see what happens next. I think uh, with me repeating myself with that phrase, that's just probably the base fear of it, where I just don't want it to stop. I want to see where it goes next. I want to continue on and 
you know, it's, and it's very disheartening, and I don't know if, if a lot of atheists uh, have this type of mindset when, when they think about uh, their death and whatnot. So the idea of us losing consciousness and not being able to go further in life or retain it and go to a different realm or whatever. So that idea, that frame of mind definitely came back when I was a, I'm just gonna say young teenager. So back when I was a young teenager, I smoked some weed and obviously that kind of expand and open, you know, my eyes to some of these things. So just smoking it a few times and being an atheist and then when you have those two things mixed up together you come to this conclusion so for me to have this idea of us being unconscious we won't be able to reminisce we won't be able to think when we die it's it's very uh disheartening this isn't necessarily a a a beacon i'm not looking for other people to to rally behind me about this idea uh, this is mainly for my own purpose and to get okay so even though I said I don't want people to to rally behind and and essentially support each other on or at least reassure it well I mean I'm, I'm stumbling. I'm overthinking it too hard. But basically, um, this video is mainly for myself. So mainly this video is for myself. So that way, uh, if someone comes across with some of these panic attacks, Hopefully, maybe that they'll get some reassurance that that there are others uh, that have that same idea and that they'll get over it. Um, I'll I'll explain how I usually deal with some of the panic attacks. Uh, <laughs> I don't want to sound like an asshole, pretend a pretentious asshole, but it's gonna come out that way anyway. So, whenever I become too self-aware, <laughs> um, I usually just tell myself to wake up in a very uh, haste motion. Not necessarily as if I'm in a dream and like, and I'm flaying my arms or limbs, or whatever. It's more of just like. This isn't the end and that this mentality, this idea should not hold you down despite how grim and, and fucking unfair it is. Um, you just need to pull through and that uh, you won't let this idea eat you alive inside. So that's what usually happens whenever I have these panic attacks. Um, I just hyperventilate <laughs> and tell myself to wake up. And uh, obviously I utter some phrases such as, come on, hurry up, as if I'm telling my brain to, to keep up with uh, with the task at hand or just going back to normal in a sense but um, and that's definitely what I want to do uh, with this video is sort of address the idea and some experience I've had um, and what I could could only describe as panic attacks um, when becoming too self-aware. 
And like I said um, from earlier, it's fine. It's fine if I do die. Like, I don't, like, I have no issue with that. My only issue is not having the consciousness of it. You know, I can't, I can't reminisce. I can't uh, visibly see what's going on in, in the world. And I, that's just something that, that I want to experience. And now since I have a camera that's ready to go whenever my thoughts are kicking in as far as uh, current events or certain idea, uh, ideologies, ideas, just many, many talking points along with expressing and sharing uh, some of my ideas and feelings of uh, things that happened to me in the past and whatnot and things and even things of how I see in the future. So I'm hoping that with the way that this is all set up that I'll be doing a more vlog-like series. Um, and <laughs> I don't know if it's going to be very therapeutic for me um, as far as maybe doing this will essentially get rid of my panic attacks um, that I have every once in a while. Some Sometimes it's reoccurring often at certain points in my life and uh, I think that if I'm able to express myself in, in this way 